Uh, hello, I am Michael Boromans. I am a, an artist. Mostly I do paintings and um, I selected uh, seven works. Uh, I did a, an ensemble of seven works that have an interesting dialogue with each other, in my opinion, uh, for the biennial in Shanghai. In the selection of seven works, there are some new works and some older works. And it was interesting and challenging for me to make a dialogue between uh, works of different um, eras in, in, in my career. Um, so half of the work approximately uh, have representations of human figures. The others are, uh, don't have this um, element. Um, and some works are referring to plants in an indirect way, to nature, and other works are referring to uh, science and technology. Uh, and these two poles is, are things where humanity is uh, dealing with uh, throughout its history. More and more we go to technology. A work like, for instance, uh, The Large Rocket, uh, to me, uh, th that's kind of an engaged work. I don't usually do engaged works, but this is an engaged work to me um, because it uh, makes a mockery of uh, human uh, humanity that uh, has this new religion, which is technology, and, uh, and a strong belief in it. And we fail to see that the more technology we de develop, the more progress we make, the more we um, lose our um, connection with uh, nature. And our connection with nature is, of course, crucial. And uh, we have to question technology as well. I I'm OK with technology, but we really have to be very critical towards it just as well. And this work uh, tries, I make a mockery of it, like the human that becomes a rocket. And there's also a re reference to, to the circus or the flying human or the flying, you know, things like that. Um, so it's, it's a kind of naive work in a way, but uh, it's really heartfelt. Well, titles are, uh, I have a very significant significant meaning in my work, uh, mostly. They're, they're a conceptual element that, that make part of the, of the work. Uh, this is a tradition that started with the Surrealist and Emma Grit and, and uh, etc. Um, so it's some heritage in that direction. Um, most of the titles uh, make part of the work in, in, in a sense that uh, it, they can lead you or mislead you, uh, and you don't know. This is a very different kind of title, which I used for the first time. Uh, it's an abstract title because I used uh, uh, numbers which, which are abstract. Um, the reason for this is that I didn't want to denominate the subject in the painting. Uh, it is not really clear what the subject exactly is, and I just wanted to keep it that way. I didn't want to mislead either. So. Numbers are very uh, neutral. Um, where the numbers come from is of no importance. I can tell you, but it, it's really of no importance. Uh, but I had to find I had, So it was based on a picture I took, and it was the exact hour, uh, hour minutes, and seconds. Um, and the date is not even uh, included. Uh, introspection in my work um, happens, uh, I believe, uh, subconsciously. Um, and the whole atmosphere in my work uh, is not, I never was looking for this, it just happens. And it's always a bit, uh, how do they call it, dark, or uh, alienating or strange. But sometimes I do this on purpose because a little bit, uh, but even when I don't do it on purpose, it, it happens. 
I always say uh, that if I paint just a simple subject like a glass of water on a table, it, it will still have this uh, ambience in that my other work has. Uh, because my work always uh, makes the question emerge, why, do, why did I paint this glass of water? Because you always sense it's not nature that I'm painting. There's something else to it. But that's, um, that just happens. 